two and a half, three kilometers north of the Mtanzini River. Uh, nice stretch of beach here. You'll see all the banks. Made a bit of a trough, so you have to wait literally till low to get through to the back bank and look for a safe spot to do that. You'll see where your water, the foam on the water is moving. There's a literally, well, there should be a rip. So stay clear from that. Look for pieces that's not moving and that's got a bit of foam like I've got in the back here all the way to the front and you just walk to the right because to the left there it's sucking a bit and that's basically where you're going to go through now the pattern we found with the diamonds in the last month here is that only really about a half an hour or an hour before low tide you can go out and throw a bait and they yeah considering that the northeast has been blowing two to three or more days you've got the brown water there's not a lot of brown water because there was a northwest this morning but there's still enough brown water and the water is nice and cold. In between you will be sometimes be able to get some sandies, honeycombs and they got a raggy early this morning still in the dark a bit further up on uh, Port Dunford Beach and that's when the water is cold enough and they like coming in in the dark. So that's pretty much when you're looking for the diamonds the competition guys and even our social guys love come catching them. Competition guys love them purely for their weight they're a bit easier to pull and the last time we fished here uh, earlier this morning but the previous uh, show you saw our cameraman getting stuck into one and had a really good tussle as well so they are here and I know every bait will put will get one so I'll quickly run you guys just through a bait this is the dangler bait that's nylon coated steel 120 pound I put a crimp on there mustard crimps the double crimp and a mustard ring in the bottom with another crimp to secure that. I put a bead on and that's to hold the foam I tie onto it and I put three toothpicks through that. Now something I want to show you guys this is the 49 strand we use especially in competitions and uh, that gives you the advantage of having the the suppleness and the movement and even the feel to fish of monofilament. So when an edible picks you up it won't spit you as fast but also assist in getting more bites from the flatfish um, that if they're in the area but look at this now it's properly kinked that's an 80 tuna circle mustard the catfish 60 smaller trace and look how it's kinked and I will cast this with confidence not worrying that this is going to break like you would with nylon coated right now with nylon coated I would have taken this off but the 49 strand obviously a lot stronger so we're quickly going to tie a bait. We take the mackerel, Atkan Marine mackerel. Um, Atkan basically puts them in a tank for a, for a while, treat them nicely, give them everything they want to food and then teach them how to go look for fish. So, <laughs> great bait, nice and fresh. Look at that guys, it looks like it was caught yesterday. Then I just measure, my dangle's going to sit in the mouth. I want to get my hook through the mouth. And that's basically where it's going to come to all right so what i'm going to do i'm going to keep that cross and then like that streamline it at the same time for casting and these pieces are cut off now i'm just going to tie them to shape it better then i open it up little ring for the hook nicely into its mouth put it here and then squeeze it on properly it's big enough I just tie it onto it and then the northeast is coming guys so it's just gonna get better the fishing is gonna be insane yeah I know there's a lot of guys coming here tonight to fish more or less the same tide as what we are and I think they're gonna be on for every cast then you do the cutlets to build the bait that just makes it nice and soft and mushy and a couple of cutlets here just use to start building a nice fleshy bait for them depending on the tide you'll catch a couple of diamonds now how quickly the tide will start pushing I don't cut my cutlets as nice as what I normally do So a lot of small ones and then start shaping 
might need another mackerel for this one and then we do nice cutlets like that and we build a nice bit and it's about layering just got back from the cast. Like I said, shot for shot you'll get them now. If we were 10 anglers, we'll probably be eight of us on. There's a nice bank in front where we wait out, out far. It's a bank forming like this. We've been watching the water and the formation the whole morning. And it lifts up onto it, it goes over and it disappears that side. So you're fishing onto a basically an A-frame bank out there. And that's exactly where they'll sit and feed. Both sides on top. See what washes over there. You've got a bit of a side wash, so everything washes against this bank, onto it and over the other side. Ideal feeding spot for them. As normal, using my Grinder Elite 15 foot and my 8000 uh, Saltist with 48 pound Gator Braid, 150 pound leader J Braid. Very nice pulling power on this rod, and you can see the way it bends. Most of your grinder rods these days bend from the bottom here. It's got more in the tip than what it does in the bottom. So it's not that gradual bend. It gradually bends more to the tip. And uh, the reason for that, they've used a much faster taper graphite, a higher quality, with the X45 technology, which means the recovery is much faster. That's why you're getting such good distance with the rod and the pulling power they managed to keep because of that so it's not your whole rod when you cast not your whole rod coming through and having to recover it's more the tip right guys so what I was busy saying all this diamonds flapping around is this is a totally unique and new action to the grinder rods they've used similar actions internationally and then the developers Dawa's developers and engineers worked three years on this to get exactly what we want for South Africa for the conditions we fish the gear the heavy tackle we use and the size of the fish well I see now the size of the fish we target here and uh, I think this is such a phenomenal design now, the, the new rod we're testing, the tournament, is pretty much the same type of action, just an even higher quality carbon, and even a faster ta taper, which means the recovery is even faster. So just, in angling perspective, what that does, is it gives you more distance and casting, a little bit more pulling power, and, uh, your accuracy, because it corrects itself much quicker, it even gives you more accuracy. But uh, if you ever get an opportunity to fight a fish or cast a grind elite, you'll understand what the fuss is about. My first fish on this was a 90 kilo bronze whaler, and it came so easy. We made it really tough for ourselves here, yeah? the spot we fish. Because we have to get it over two lips, the, the last lip is not difficult. But that back lip, you've got no leverage because you're standing so far back. So you really struggle to get it over that back lip. In other words, the diamond fight's not too easy as we used to. It's a bit extra, which just makes it more enjoyable.
that swallowed the hook. So you have to really get in there. You're... Ah! Don't crash down. I'm trying to help you. Okay, here we go. Was about that deep in. Right guys, so like we've said many times, this is our own endemic species. Lovely fish, lovely summer fight. Gash me again, yeah. It's just very fine teeth, like uh, sandpaper, but it's sharp. So it gets you every now and again, as you can see. But let's get this back in the water. Awesome session in such a pristine area. We're really fortunate with the Zululand North Coast in the summer with a variety of really good fighting fish. Now walking back through Durnford, there was about 30 odd anglers all getting stuck into diamonds. At one stage I counted over 10 guys fighting. Some of them were fishing a friendly competition and others just social. Now as the title said, what an awesome flapping summer season we had in Zululand. So many anglers had the chance to get a fish over 40 or 50 kilos. And if I think really hard, I can still remember that feeling when you get your first fish over 40 or 50 kilos. For those who've caught many of these fish, remember there are still thousands of anglers who hasn't had the privilege to get these bigger fish. And this year, a lot of extra anglers got themselves onto the 50 kilo club. Thanks to a great season in Zululand, I must honestly say the sandies and honeycombs weren't as prolific but the diamonds really came to the party and I can just estimate thousands and thousands of diamond skates that was caught and released again. Well done to all anglers that put in the effort to release this fish and look after them. Now with that we said goodbye to Mtanzini Forest Lodge. It feels like home whenever I come here. Over the years, still one of my favorite places to stay on the Zululand North Coast. After a good day's fishing, the most tranquil environment and I always had a great briar.